in one of the most turbulent periods of Japanese history, known as Sengoku Jidai, or the Warring States period, great warlords were fighting for the hegemony of feudal Japan. A samurai named Yasuke stood out from the rest. He was approximately 1.90 meters tall, almost 30 centimeters taller than the average samurai. But it was not only his stature that set him apart. Yasuke was an African samurai and fought alongside Oda Nobunaga, one of the most important daimyo in Japanese history. Today, you will learn the story of the only black man to become a legitimate samurai. Yasuke arrived in Japan in 1579 on a Portuguese ship. His nationality is unknown, but there are indications that he was born in the Portuguese colony of Mozambique in Africa. His real name has also been lost in history. He landed in Japan as a servant of the Jesuit missionary Alexandra Velignano, whose mission was to audit the work of spreading Christianity in Japan. The Society of Jesus was succeeding in converting hundreds of thousands of Japanese, among them samurai and local warlords. Rumors about the arrival of a man with black skin spread quickly. Thousands of people wanted to witness something they had never seen before. Yasuke was usually surrounded by Japanese people who could not believe what they saw, so they would rub his skin to make sure that the color was not paint or makeup. Learning of stories about a huge black man crossing his domains, Oda Nobunaga, the most powerful of the Japanese daimyos, ordered for that man to be brought before him. Nobunaga was astonished upon seeing the man. Like many before him, he didn't believe it either. He suspected that this was some trick of the Portuguese foreigners. Yasuke was stripped naked and his skin was washed. To the daimyo's surprise, there was no trickery at all. Nobunaga was very impressed when he met Yasuke, mainly because of his great physical vigor. The daimyo once claimed that the African was stronger than 10 men put together. Because he liked Yasuke so much, and realizing the impact of having a distinguished warrior in his entourage, Nobunaga granted the title of samurai to the African foreigner. A samurai was not a simple warrior, but a member of a caste with great prestige and power. Yasuke was probably one of the first foreigners to become a samurai. Yasuke received military training and quickly learned to fight as a samurai, mastering the Japanese language. Nobunaga enjoyed Yasuke's presence very much. They used to ride together, as well as share meals. The honorable position was unusual even for other samurai. Oda Nobunaga took the African giant with him on military campaigns to conquer and unify Japan under his rule. Yasuke participated in several battles fought on behalf of his lord. The battle against the Takeda clan was the most famous. In 1582, however, Akechi Mitsuhide betrayed Oda Nobunaga and besieged the place where the powerful daimyo was. Yasuke fought to defend his sovereign against Mitsuhide's forces. But, as defeat was inevitable, Nobunaga committed seppuku. Yasuke offered his services to Oda Nobutada, Nobunaga's heir. The African samurai fought to defend his new lord, but was eventually captured. Mitsuhide had no respect for Yasuke. Because he was a barbaric foreigner, Yasuke was not required to commit seppuku along with his lord. Yasuke was forced to report to Kyoto's Jesuit church. This was the last record of Yasuke's presence in Japan. It was the endpoint in the story of the only African samurai in history.